Hi there, it's Gabriele here from PilotClimb.com. I'm a trainer captain on the Boeing 737 and in today's video I want to share with you how the altimeter settings works and the transition altitude in real life. What we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into the simulator and I will show you how to use the, how to change the altimeter settings and uh, what to do when you climb to the transition altitude. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Looking at the whiteboard here, yesterday I made a, a, a good video about the altimeter settings and how the reference works. I'm going to do a quick recall and then we go into the scene. Okay, what uh, I said yesterday is that an altimeter, in order to work, needs a static port, okay, and then it needs as well as a pressure reference. The pressure reference is inserted by the uh, pilot, okay. The pressure reference inserted by the pilot in order to tell the altimeters. I want you to take the distance from there, in this case the altitude, from that pressure reference, okay? Normally the pressure reference, in order to fly altitude, is the pressure at the mean sea level. The pressure at the mean sea level is the QNH, so if the pilot will tell the altimeters to take the QNH or the pressure at the mean sea level as a reference, it will read the altitudes or the distance from the mean sea level. So in this case we've got the sea in here, then we have got this terrain and the run here. Sorry for my drawing, it's not great, but it's the best I can do. And as you can see here, the pilot has set the QNH that in our simulator example we're gonna use a QNH 1030 hectopascal, okay? So what the pilot will read when he's over the runway, he will read actually the distance from the mean sea level to the runway, okay? Or also called elevation of the airport, all right? So what will happen if the pilot changes his pressure reference from the QNH to another pressure reference, let's say in this case 1035, okay? What we see is that since the 1035 is an higher pressure, is a below, is the reference is below the 1030 because the lower you go, the higher will be the pressure. So what will happen is if the pilot chooses to, to take as a reference the 1035, it will not read the, 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 the difference in altitude from the mean sea level, but it will read from the altimeters all the way down to the 1035. So as you can see here, by changing the pressure reference, the pilot has a different altitude information even though it didn't change the, the, uh, the position. It was stopped there and nothing happens. So that's why it's important to always at the beginning use the QNH to have the right pressure reference. All right, so what will happen is that after that we do some examples in here, what will happen is, let's say we want to use, we use the, uh, we take off, okay, and then we arrive at the transition altitude, TA, so I made a video yesterday about this, so if you, are, if you don't know still what the transition altitude is, just watch that one. Once it arrives at the transition altitude, the pilot has to change the pressure reference, okay, from the QNH, which is the mean sea level pressure, to the QNE. The QNE is the standard pressure, which is the 1013 hectopascal, okay? So what, what will happen is that since the 1030 is in here, okay, the 1013 will be above the 1, the 10, the 1013 will be above the 1030 because it's a lower pressure, okay? If it would have been an higher pressure, it would have been below, but because it's 1013 is above, is lower pressure, so it's higher than 1030, the altimeters will take, once passing the transition altitude, will, uh, well, the pilot will have to change from QNH pressure reference to the QNE. The QNE is the 1013, so 1013 is in here, Q and E. So my answer, my question to you is, what will happen to the altimeters reading once passing in this example through the transition altitude? Will the pilot read a higher altitude or will the pilot read a lower, a, a smaller altitude? So leave me a comment below with your answer and now I will answer. The, I will answer. So what will happen is that once the pilot change from Q and H to Q and E of the 1013, it will read a lower altitude information in this case if let me let me do another example here let's say the QNH was 1000 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, that means then in that case if the QNH would have been 1000 the QNH would have been a standard 1013 so the QNH since it's higher would have been below and when the pilot will pass through the transition altitude and change from the QNH of 1000 to the QNH of 1013, it will have read an higher altitude because the reference is below. But in this case, since the QNH is 1030, it will read a lower altitude. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into the simulator and make a real life examples.
Okay, welcome on board the Boeing 737-800 uh, simulator is the X-Plane 11. What we've got in here is the altimeter is in here, as you can see, okay? So what we've got, the pressure reference set by the pilot, set by me, is 1030 hectopascal because the QNH of that date is 1030. And how did I know that 1030 was the QNH? Is because I took the 80s, I put the frequency on the 80s that you can find in the AP, you can ask to the controller or you can check that in the, in the airport chart, you put it in the radio and the radio will tell you their weather information. And among all the weather information such as temperature and so on, you will get the QNH. You set the QNH in here and if the QNH is correct you should read the airport elevation. In this case if you take the chart of Alghero, because this is Alghero Airport, we know that the airport elevation is around 80 feet, okay? And that's because we took as a reference the QNH, which is the pressure at the mean sea level. Let's, let's, say, let's, say, let's do the example that we discussed in a sec one second ago, that we changed from the 1030 to the 1035, okay? So we changed the pressure reference. Another question, what will happen to the altimeters, to the altimeter reading. Okay, I'll tell you and then you leave me a comment below saying if you were right or wrong. If you change them from 1035 to, sorry, from the 1030 to the 1035, you will read an higher altitude information because if the airplane is here, the 1030 is here, and you take as a reference the 1035 that is below the 1030, then the altimeter will read a longer distance because the 1035 is below the 1030. What will happen, let me, let me do that so, all right, not in this side, but like that. Here we go. So we've got 1030, 1031, 1032, 33, 34, and 35. As you can see, we went from reading 80 feet to reading 200 feet, even though we didn't move. But what we moved was the starting reference pressure point of the altimeter. So if you change the pressure, if the aircraft is static in here, but you change the reference of the altimeter, you will read that the altimeter doesn't know that we are not flying. The altimeter only knows that the reference is below or above him, okay? So let's move, let's put it back to the 1035 and then I'll do the opposite example. So the one, sorry, let's put it back to the 1030 and now we'll do the example. Now I change from the 1030 to the 1025 to give you another example and in this case we'll read a lower altitude. So as you can see 1025 is actually going from 80 to 40 feet. And that's because the, one zero, the aircraft is here, the 1030 is here, we change and we put the 1025 that is above the 1030. All right, so I hope this is clear. So what will happen now, we're gonna take off and then at 6,000 feet, we will, which is the transition altitude for Alghero, and I know that from the charts, I'll take off at 6,000 feet, I'll change from the QNH to the standard, and then we fly flight levels, let's go. Okay, what is going on here? We just took off and we've got around 4,000 feet. So the transition altitude is at 6,000, as briefed before. So once we pass, once we pass through the 6,000 feet, okay, because we are clear to flight level 100, what we have to do, we have to change from QNH to, to QNE. So from the 1030 to the 1013. What we've got is, is again, the 1030 is below the 1013 because it's an higher pressure and the higher pressure is, is lower. What happened is that the aircraft is this one, 1030 is there, once we change the 1013, the reference of the altimeter will be here, so the altitude that we're gonna read is gonna be a lower altitude. But once we pass the transition altitude and we change to the QNE, the 1013, we fly not uh, following altitudes anymore, but we fly following flight levels. So once we are flight level uh, 7000 feet, you are flight level 70. Here we go, 70 is there, I change to, sorry, 6000 feet is in there, I change to the standard and look what happened, okay? So we just change, if I change it back to the 1030, you see now the, the aircraft actually has got this orange in there because it's telling me, look, you passed the transition altitude and you haven't changed the QNH, you're still on the QNH, you should go into the QNE. So if I put the 1013, the standard one, look at the altitude, goes back to 6400. Because we were flying 1030 is here, once we change to the 1013, suddenly the reference climb uh, went up, so the difference uh, the, the actually the altimeter uh, uh, altitude difference was reduced. Okay. I hope you liked the video. If you like a video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel in order not to miss the other videos. So make sure you answer the question I made on the comments below and go to pilotclimb.com where you can check for free pilot training content. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>